Hello everyone, welcome to MSC Seaside. This is my cabin with an amazing ocean view that I'm going to introduce to you. This is a 360 video, which means that you can use your finger to scroll around your smartphone. Or if you're look, watching this video on, uh, on a desktop computer, you can use your mouse and scroll around the place in 360 degrees. So, welcome to cabin 5099. This is on deck uh, number five, which is the guest service, is the reception area. It's not far from here. Um, on this deck, there are a couple cabins that have an ocean view, a round shape ocean view, which is amazing. I usually stay in inside cabins, but finally this time I get to see daylight and the starlight uh, every night. Except for the fact that unfortunately, there is uh, a lamp right above my uh, my window so i have to close the curtains during the night when i want to sleep because it's just uh, a regular light coming in but during the daytime it is fantastic now the room has two parts one part is the living area that has an amazing couch you can open up this couch and um, uh, this can be an additional bed it's also very comfortable just to chill out on this bed you can watch tv or yourself in the mirror um, or look out at the, at the round uh, window. Now we have a TV, it's a smart TV uh, with some interactive programs. You can uh, watch some movies but there is a fee for rental of these uh, movies. It's around 10 bucks, 10 US dollars um, for a movie. You have some live TV stations, uh, American and international news channels and you can also check your uh, your account and other things through the my msc uh, menu which will be right here right press here no it's not a touch screen so you have the videos here on several languages uh, the safety in english in italian in spanish there's something about the andrea bocelli foundation this embarkation information in several languages uh, with the cruise director Andre, who's from South Africa. You have the cruise information right here. Okay, I'm cruising the Caribbean on this cruise and we are north of Cuba. We left from Miami, did an Eastern Caribbean loop. Uh, we visited uh, some amazing places, including, where were we? Let's see. Um, we were in Jamaica, we were in the Cayman Islands, then we were in Cozumel, Mexico, and now we are heading to Nassau, the Bahamas, and then back to, to Miami. It's a really standard Caribbean route, and the weather has been super, so let me switch this off. Uh, we have a nice size desk. Um, actually, it could be a little bigger, uh, but I believe I'm one of the few people that actually do work on a board. Um, it has a little tray with an ice uh, holder, no ice in this so far, it has a, a glass, a bottle opener and it has a mini bar. Now the mini bar is stocked, stocked. it has uh, a couple of booze, uh, gin, whiskey and vodka, beer, uh, juices, water, soft drinks and other, thing, other things. Um, I put some of my own stuff in the fridge uh, to keep them uh, cool. They also provide you with two big bottles of water in the room, but this is for a charge, it's not complimentary. Um, there is a small packing area for all the documents, for all the papers, the daily programs that they offer you. Unfortunately, on this cruise ship, or maybe in, only in this cabin, I found that there's not a lot of information regarding the ship, regarding the facilities, the restaurants. Obviously, you can find everything in the MSC for Me application, which you can also download. You're highly encouraged to download it before you get on the ship, uh, where you have free Wi-Fi. It has all the information about everything, so let's say it's a sustainable way. It has a very nice phone. Um, it's maybe a little too complicated for most passengers, uh, but you can leave messages. You can record your own name uh, as voicemail, and it's it's, you know, it's a bit heavy and well um, we have the electric plugs we have the European standard uh, 220 volts and we have the American standard at 110 and finally this is a new cruise ship and there is uh, a USB charger in fact there are three one of them is a high power and the other one is just a regular USB 
charger so you can charge your phones and cameras and everything without needing any plugs and, and um, those other things. Large mirror, vanity, lights, perfect. And this part is really cool because it's quite wide. Uh, so if you just want to chill and relax, you can uh, put some of the pillows here and and just enjoy the, the ocean view. Obviously, it's not something like uh, a balcony uh, because you don't really get the fresh air. Well, you don't get the fresh air at all, but at least you get to see the ocean and it's wonderful. We are a couple of decks above sea level, so obviously your windows will not go under the water, but uh, some sprinkles can be seen on the, on the window, but I guess they clean it quite regularly. You can make extra darkness in the, in the room, total darkness. There are two curtains. One to cover the light and then this uh, decorative one. So total darkness in the room in case you like that. But I prefer daylight. What else do we have here? We have two very nice paintings here. Um, this one is a jellyfish and the other is also some ocean animal coral. It's a coral. Now the bed. The bed is very comfortable. It's not a huge bed. I mean, it's perfect for two people. It's even better for one person. Um, I've had some really, really, really good night sleeps on, on this bed. Um, the blankets are comfortable. The pillows come in different uh, firmness and you can request different uh, pillows from your uh, cabin steward. And I like these little pillows too that are good for watching TV. By the way, you can watch the TV right from your bed or from the, from, uh, the sofa bed which is a little weird that uh, between the two single beds there isn't really a layer or a mattress and I could feel the little hole in between the two beds but it's, I mean, uh, we shouldn't have any bigger problems than these. Uh, two small um, cabinets for your, for your things to keep during the night. You have the light switch, you can switch off the entire room switch it back in and you have a nice mood light and also some reading lights uh, that come very handy and you have a charger a USB charger next to the bed which is perfect because I love having my phone next to my uh, my bed and also charging it there's electricity in the room only and only if you put your cabin card inside the slot I haven't tried it with another plastic card but I heard that this only works with your uh, cabin card we have a wardrobe. It's not too. Uh, there's not a lot of space. In fact, I had problems putting all my stuff inside, including my suitcase. But I guess you can put the suitcase under the bed uh, in this cabin. So we have some hangers um, and sorry for the mess. And we have one, two, three, four um, uh, shelves, and we have two uh, drawers. That's not a lot. And if there are two or three people in this cabin, I don't think that uh, this is enough. There's a safe in the room uh, that you can um, uh, digitally put in the codes. It's not a big one, but it's uh, big enough to fit all your money and, uh, and passport. There's a full-size mirror here and uh, a thermostat. And the air conditioning is, I think, coming from here. It was a little chilly the other day and there was a lot of air coming in so I just covered this area with, uh, with this plastic that is intended to be put on the bed when you unpack or repack your suitcase. Something really cool about MSC. Mm, there is a trash can and finally they are being environmentally cautious. So there is a selective uh, trash collection, plastic, food and paper. And then these will be taken down to uh, to the crew area, and they will be put into the to the um, to the plastic containers, and uh, they will disembark uh, all the trash in one of the ports. Or if it's a different type of trash, then they can burn it, and it's becoming a very soft ash. And at certain points, they can uh, let it out in the ocean. Um, but these are all with regulations from international marine uh, law. Um, we also have here um, a thing that functions as 
a chair, a very uncomfortable chair if you want to work on your computer at the desk. It can be also used uh, uh, to put your feet on when watching TV or this could be your uh, coffee side table and you can enjoy some food and beverages here. It's multifunctional, um, yeah it's, it's quite okay. Um, breakfast. You can order breakfast to the room depending on the cabin type that uh, you purchase. You can either do Bella, Fantastica, Aurea or Wellness. Um, there is or there isn't a service charge. Notice there is or there isn't a, a delivery fee for your, uh, for your breakfast. If you are a Fantastica or above then I believe that uh, they waive the, the delivery fee but if you are Bella uh, category um, which means that the cabins are on a lower decks um, and certain, you have to pay a little extra for certain things, but it's not no big deal. Uh, you have to hang out, hang this out on your door by 2 a.m. in the morning, and then they will deliver it to your room. If you order the signature breakfast muffin, there is a three uh, dollar charge additionally. There's room service. Uh, you have the menu here. Um, several languages in uh, English, in Italian, in German, French, Spanish and Portuguese. So you can order some of these things and there is, I believe, a delivery free of $3.50 between 11 and 6 uh, a.m. But you'll find more information on the board. What else do we have here? Um, this is a brand new ship. Uh, this ship started sailing December 2017. This is Mar 1st of March 2018. So it's this is the first uh, inaugural voyage of this ship. And it's uh, they have some things to work on, but I believe it's a good product. Uh, there are, on this particular cruise, there are a lot of European international visitors and there are quite a few hundred kids. So if you are the type of cruiser that doesn't really want to hang out with kids, then maybe you should uh, look for a different uh, ship. Uh, but on this ship, they have some amazing things. Things There is a zip line, there are amazing pools for kids and for adults also. Uh, there's a bowling alley, there's a billiard table, a pool table, which is amazing. Remember that we are at sea and the sea moves, even though this is a huge ship with 20, about 20 decks. So the ships move uh, a little bit, but there's the pool table that is stabilized. The, the balls are not going around because that massive table is, is stabilized. It's fantastic. Uh, there are a lot of cool new and trendy things on this board. Um, check it out because it's worth it. Now, let's see the bathroom. Okay. The bathroom is, um, you know, it's, it's not big. In fact, it's quite small. I guess it's industry standard, but it's full. So we have the, the toilet here, toilet brush and papers. You have the sink. Uh, water temperature was good. There was also cold, coolish and uh, warm water. They have some liquid soap coming from here. And you have two shelves, uh, some towels. And interestingly, MSC does not have shower curtains, which is nice because they, they feel more clean. Um, and the shower size is actually it's pretty good. Uh, they have good sh shower heads. Um, there's also a fila linge. If you want to dry your clothes, you can just use this. And there's soap and shampoo, shower gel and shampoo, all liquid. Now, it's important to bring your hair conditioner or other products or body lotion because in the standard cabin category, they don't provide you those um, amenities. And one more important thing, being environmentally friendly, please, 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 if you go on a cruise, don't have your towels changed uh, every day twice. You know, uh, cabin attendants come here in the morning and also in the evening to make your bed. And then if you leave your towels on the bed or on the floor, they're going to change it. Now, think to yourself, do you usually change your towels every day twice at home? No. So just hang your towels on these racks and they will not going to replace them. Um, yeah, just do it. Be environmentally friendly. One thing that I should remind you 
before closing this video is that on MSC ships there's no self laundromat and there is no ironing room. So in case you want to dress up for the evening party, the, uh, there are two elegant nights on this cruise, then um, you can either send your jackets and shirts to, to the laundry room to have to be cleaned and ironed or just go in the wrinkles. Or what I do is after shower, I just put my shirt into the, into the shower and hopefully the heat and the humidity is going to release the wrinkles from the shirts. Uh, or just enjoy your gala dinner even if it's if your clothes are a little wrinkly now This is a more laid-back cruise. It's not like the other cruise ships. I've done before not everybody dressed up uh, Perfectly for the evenings and in fact, it's very casual Entertainment is great. There are different shows every night um, It's always about dancing and singing and acrobatics and jugglers uh, so everybody understands it, all international guests, not just English speakers. Um, there are amazing shore excursions to do in this region of the Caribbean. And uh, you can have uh, some <coughs> specialty dine, uh, dining. There's a sushi restaurant, there's a teppanayaki, there's uh, an ocean restaurant, and there is a French bistro, and there is one more a steakhouse. They have set menus and they also have a la carte pricing. Or you can use the, the main dining rooms. You can go to the buffet. Fortunately, the food in the buffet, uh, I found the selection a bit limited, both for breakfast, lunches, and dinners. But if you go to the main restaurants, also for breakfast and dinners, I'm pretty sure you'll find something really special and uh, and tasty. Or just try sushi, like I did today for the, but that's for a surcharge. You can buy drink packages before or on the first days of the cruise. You can have all-inclusive drink packages. Or you can have a water package you can also purchase them uh, before getting on on this ship there is a service charge of twelve dollars and fifty cents or something like that uh, per day per person uh, on this cruise ship and um, come on this is amazing we are on the Caribbean even if there are some minor faults uh, on this new ship on the MSC seaside you can't beat this. This is the Atlantic Ocean or the Caribbean Sea and you have palm trees and white sandy beaches and you can swim with animals, dolphins and stingrays. You can do historical stuff. You can, well trying local food is not really a thing on the cruises but uh, you can have a nice uh, rum punch in, uh, in Jamaica for example. Alright, I've spoken enough. This was the ship tour. This was my cabin, an ocean view cabin on the MSC Seaside cabin number 5099. Check out my other videos, check out the other cruise reviews and other hotel room reviews. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and see you at the next adventure.